We should probably get on with this. We have had no sleep at all basically. We got to sleep at 4am, I then woke up at 9am, checked the upload and the internet went. We only had about an hour that actually uploaded and it uploaded 12% and it was still down until about 10 wasn't it? Yeah luckily Kayla's dad has two broadband setups. So I've been sat in here since about 9 o'clock with it wired up to my MacBook just sort of reading as it's been uploading. You know what well, the thing that really sucks is overnight we lost a subscriber and it's not like it's completely killed us or anything and it's made us really upset but we get really excited every time we get a subscriber like we are super happy. We like it when we get a subscriber and then when we lose a subscriber we're like a bit you know a bit upset so yeah it just sucks a little bit because we put a lot of work into these but yeah we've got 258 minutes left and it's half past one and it's 56 percent uploaded we're seriously knackered and michaela has work experience tonight as well yeah i've got work experience from 10 o'clock tonight till 3 a.m and then when i get back i have to edit well sam's gonna have well, edited I'll, but i'll, I'll look through it yeah so when i get in i'm probably not gonna get to sleep until about six o'clock tonight but Anyway, we're gonna wait for this to upload. I think while this uploads, we're gonna go to the White Horse. Oh! In a minute. Sorry. Super quick update. Lawn mower's fixed, but it's not there. Why am I pointing? The lawn mower is fixed. Is it? Yeah, Alan is, your dad has driven it around the garden. I gotta eat my crumpets because they've probably gone yeah, cold probably by gone now. Cold. See, this is what oh. I do for you guys, talking to you guys, and my crumpets have gone cold. Dang it. Gosh! Dang crap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's camera shy. We just come inside for a bit and we keep seeing her go to the food bowl and since we've been in for three seconds, she's got five. Her sixth one. There she goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, she's back. She's coming back. She's getting more. <laughs> as soon as I turn the camera on me, she's like, oh, she's not filming me. Best go and get some food quick. <laughs> All right. I don't know where my dad is. I don't know if we're going to go to the White Horse anymore, really. I feel sick, by the way, guys. I don't know what it is. I've just been feeling really sick recently. And I was putting it down to nerves the other day for the photo shoot and uh, for my work experience. And yeah, I was a little bit nervous for the photo shoot, but it wasn't too bad. And I was fine yesterday. And then today I just feel really sick again, but I'm not nervous. It's like an actual sick feeling. It's actually like I'm going to throw up and I just feel like cold and gross. It is really cold though. So it is. That's shared. It could be lack of sleep. Is yeah, that a thing where well, you feel sick if you have lack of sleep? Because I really haven't had enough sleep. Should we go to sleep with the dogs? Oh, hello. Oh, she's going back to my food. <laughs> Will you lie down? Lie down in your bed. No. Yeah, Gonna get right. more food. Look at that bum. <laughs> oh, look at those puppy little guys. Oh, you gonna, you gonna come say hi? Ah, uh, you coming for cuddles? Ah, oh, doggy cuddles. Everyone in the house is sick, so we can't do the white horse today. Uh, Michaela is plodding along like a soldier. But we've decided to go out for a walk, just to sort of like clear our heads a wee bit. I'm hoping I'm not going to be sick when I'm out on my work experience, or need the toilet the other end. Nice. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to go very far up this walk. We were going to go to the shop, which is about an hour of walk, but I've got to leave pretty soon. And I just feel so crap that I don't really want to work that walk that far. I think maybe if I throw up, it might make me feel better. Oh, that's, that's, but then at the same time, it might just start thinking. a chain reaction. I'm hoping we'll go to the White Horse at some point though. But if we don't, it's not like, it's not, you know, too much that we're missing out on. It's only it's a White Horse. a giant horse on a hill. Yeah. We're probably not even going to be able to recognise it when we're there. Yeah, it's just going to be like white on the floor. Yeah, we're just going to continue this walk and then we're going to turn back in a minute. And go back to my dad's where I'll get ready. And then I'll be leaving for my work experience, Yay. which... I'm not actually worried about. I was more worried about sending off my ID and going to the police station and sorting that out than I am about the actual experience. I'm weird. 
One thing we did do this morning that was actually quite productive was did some washing. Nikki put it on for us, but then we hung it out outside to dry. At least we did something productive. But yeah, we're gonna turn back now. It's almost time for me to leave for my work experience and I'm not feeling any better. I feel like I'm still gonna throw up, so hopefully I really don't throw up. And Sam is gonna take you guys on an adventure to a shop. Yay! In the middle of nowhere, basically. Michaela's gone off on her work experience at, well, on like a ride along with the police. And I've just borrowed one of the bikes and I'm heading on down to the shop. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't ridden a bike in like years. Um, I've got my bike up at Winchester, but it's too, whoa, it's too hilly up there to ride it for me because I'm a bit of a chunky monkey. So, what I'm doing now, oh. <coughs> I'm heading up the shops quick. Just gonna get a few bits and bobs for tonight. Gonna get Michaela a few sort of congratulatory things as well. Okay, so I've just popped to the shop and grabbed some goodies and I've got Michaela a nice little prezzy for when she gets back. And I really hope she does have a good time tonight because, well, she's been wanting to do this for a long time. I think she started setting everything up at about May, but it's just taken so long to see fruition. I really hope she gets a lot out of this because I know she was really looking forward to doing like the night shift because she's doing another two afterwards, but they're like day shifts. I'm gonna head back now and I'm gonna get on with some actual uni dissertation work. Finally. Might do some reading, might do some writing, who knows? Then I'm gonna get on some work. That's the worst wink ever. <laughs> and then I'm gonna see Michaela back. Okay guys, I've just got back and I think right now I'm probably gonna do some reading. So I'm gonna read this first. And I've got this other book, which I need to read for my reading list, which is called The Art of Writing Fiction by Andrew Cohen. Which actually sounds very interesting and I really wanna get on to. I've heard enough about that because I'm gonna do this reading and then I'm gonna do some work until Michaela comes back in like, in six hours. Michaela's coming back in six hours and that took me a long time to work out. Holy jeez, what? Okay, so Nikki's just brought me some lovely pizza and I'm watching King Kong at the moment whilst doing some reading, I promise I'm doing some work. And hopefully Michaela's having a good time. Um, I think she's just about to start. Yeah, I think she's just about to start, so fingers crossed it goes well for her. I'm back from the work experience and that was amazing. Um, it was basically five hours of um, like patrolling and everything. I learned so much from it and I learned so much for my dissertation as well that I didn't think I'd even learn. And yeah, it's just a really good experience and I can't wait until the next day that I'll have experience. But it's about half past three now in the morning. I'm tired. I feel a lot better though now. So it could have been like a combination of nerves or I pooped. So that could have been why. But yeah, we're gonna go out into the workshop now and we are going to edit and upload. But I really need something to keep me awake, to be honest. This is my baby. I love you. I love you. I'm so tired, guys. Got a surprise for you. Oh. It's the first one. <gasps> oh, I'm a hero? Yeah, you're a hero. Oh, thank you. And these two, because... Get ready for the cheesy line. Okay. Because you're out of this world. <gasps> right, let's go edit this baby and I'm going to tell Sam all about my experiences now. Okay, so we're at the workshop editing. It is now 10 past 4 and we are getting a bit delirious. <laughs> so watch this guys. Sausage, bacon, snails, pepperoni, the maple good, 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 the maple good. She's like beatboxing. <laughs> We should probably get on with this. Okay guys, so we are officially really delusional right now and this has definitely woken me up. That relentless is not gonna work any longer. We are about to crash. We need to sleep. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm more excited, I think. Right, we're gonna head on over to Sarah's house for the photo shoot now. So we're out with Sarah P, photography, and we're gonna go for our first photo shoot in... We're in Box is, now. In, in Box. In Wiltshire. Uh -huh. This is a nice little sort of field. We were going to go to, is it like a, a hay field? Yes, but they've cut it all down. They've cut it down. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> We're going to start here. Perfect. We're at our second location now and it's a lake. Yeah, it's a lakeside place so it's where they do some fishing in caution. Yeah! 
Yeah, so now we're gonna take some photos. Some lovely dovey shots. Lovey dovey shots. I'm gonna make them do the dirty dancing pose. <laughs> I'm trying to at least. <laughs>